This is the Montgomery Gate area of the new housing scheme. We're now at Higgins House. Dense growth of bluebells here and other vegetation shows that this is a, an ancient woodland has been undisturbed in terms of farming activity for many a century. The raised area here is where Higgins House was located. As stated, it suggested that the Higgins House, although may have been a small holding of some sort or a property within the estate, may also have served as a, a sort of tavern, an inn. Throughout the entire woodland here, there's a massive growth of bluebells, showing how well established it is as an ancient woodland cover. These stones here are what remains of the building. This is the road still that once ran as a major way of entering Kewinning from Irvin. The old Wall and Survey map show a small well in the distance. And the buildings across the way are the old gravel lodge. side roads off the expressway and then that would be into the Exeter estate, which is now Exeter Country Park. So it's possible Robert Burns and his friend Richard Brown and many other friends regularly along this route in the 1780s, 81. Burns was here to learn the flax trade, the flax heckling trade, down in the Glasgow Bend, which was not entirely successful. When he returned back to Loch Lee, he abandoned growing flax and remained as a normal farmer. 